Hello, Leo. Let's go ahead and get started with your April monthly forecast. Let's see what they have to say. Truth be told. Okay, somebody needs to open up and speak their truth. All right, it is the number 14. Maybe there was some type of upheaval between you and another person. Um, but Or you need to speak your truth. You need to open up and communicate with someone. Okay, it says, honesty Accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer. This is not a time for debate about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent honest and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion, will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed, and spirit will answer with miracles. So I do feel like there is a truth that needs to be revealed, and I think in the month of April you will find out what this truth is. So maybe somebody has been needing to speak up and talk to you about something, uh, maybe a way that you made them feel. And I'm, I almost hear like you don't get to decide that you didn't hurt another person's feelings, okay? So we do have the star here. Wow, all right, there we go. You have the three cards. All right, so we have the star here. We have the four of wands. And we have the unity card. So another number five, bottom of the deck. Yes, here it is, Princess of Winter. So it says, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, and undiplomatic. Information that can help you, but which may be also difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or an adult. So again, it goes back to truths being revealed. Um, something that could possibly very much be healed in a relationship between you and someone else which could also in turn help you with your relationships with other people. Then we have the four of spring. Be grateful you have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. So I feel like this uh, truth that's being revealed could heal between, help you heal between you and other people. And there could be some type of celebrations in the process. Unity, do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you. A spiritually com minded community. So again, I, you know, a lot of the times we think we're doing the right thing and, you know, because we've gotten away with things for so long, but I feel like the truth of the matter is it's time for us to start doing things differently. If we have acted in relationships with certain people, um, you know, these people are going to push back if you're the one who is, uh, you know, not being honest or, you know, acting in a way that is undiplomatic, um, you know, towards other people. Spirit, please show me Leo. We've got the renewal, reflection, self-evaluation, and a rebirth. So, like I said, I do feel like there is some type of healing, but there's a judgment call here that is being made. And that's what this renewal card is. It's like, do we want to pick up where we left off, um, you know, or do we need a rebirth in where we were with, you know, certain people in our lives? Uh, there it is, the tower. The tower did come crashing down. Um, there could be something going on with your home environment. Uh, you know, there could be a, a sudden realization or a life change uh, that could be coming into your home. Um, for some of you, it could be you could be bringing a new child into the home. Um, we've got this card that wants to come out, Nine of Fire. Yeah, somebody here wanting to protect themselves, uh, preparedness and resilience. So somebody here actually st standing up for themselves and having, there you are, showing up in your own reading, uh, Leo, with the Strength card. So this talks about courage, compassion, and perseverance. You know, somebody, whether you or someone else, conjuring up the courage to speak their truth, okay? I feel like a truth does need to be revealed. There's something here. I want to read um, the number 14. Let's read the relationship message because I feel like there, this has a lot to do with relationships and people speaking out. You know, we do have the cats here too, so that could be very uh, some type of an importance to you because we do have the lion and we have a tiger here. 
people tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt, open conversations. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is always based in your personality and experience of to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back, speak your truth and listen. So whether that's like I said, you speaking your truth or someone else speaking a truth, I feel like it's going to take great courage for you to sit and listen to what this other person has to say. Emotions may run high though because, you know, when somebody's speaking their truth and it it goes against everything that you believe in or everything that you've ever known to be true, it could bring out a lot of, it could bring up a lot of emotion and for Leo, you are a of the heart, but you can also be very egoistic and you have a tough time, you know, even seeing, you know, how it makes other people feel when you, you know, it's almost like, you know, with a lion, you think about a lion, they're very bold. They're very, they can, and in their, you know, in their, uh, and that's funny because we have the Ace of Swords right underneath and somebody here who has walked away with, and just put their sword down and said, listen, I don't even want to communicate anymore, <laughs> you know, like, but again, this goes back to open dialect. You know, you think about what I was saying earlier about, you know, being um, loud and just using that within you sometimes it's not all that nice, okay? And, and so people feel like they have to defend themselves. And I feel like that's why the tower came down is because things need to transform. Uh, Leo, I feel like the month of April is all about communications uh, with other people. Let's see where this goes. Let's see what the angel's advice is. Wow, okay, what do we got? Divine timing, it's time. Okay, it's time to have this open dialogue. It's time to open up to uh, different, you know, forms of communication. Um, divine timing. Let's see what this says. This card is a sign that your hopes and dreams are unfolding. You may not think so, but you need to remember that you may be working to human time, whereas God is always working on soul time, which can never be measured or rushed. You are being guided to know that your angel team is with you right now, encouraging you to call in the support of heaven in aligning your current aligning your current situation with love. Imagine yourself in your situation covered in a golden light and ask the angels to show you the way forward, knowing they are always working for your highest good. Okay? Divine timing, you know, this it's time. It's time things that change that that things change. See, I'm even having a tough time communicating because either A, you're blocked off and you don't want to hear the message and you don't want to hear what other people have to say, or B, um, somebody else is not wanting to hear what you have to say. But I think that the truth of the matter is it's time to come out and have that conversation if you want things to change. Let's look at your love life, Leo. Spirit, please show me April. Leo's love life for the month of April. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, keep an open mind. Your soul may be different from your usual type and expectations. Maybe in the past they used to put up with, you know, whatever it is, the way you communicated in the past. Things are different now, especially if you want a reconciliation with someone from the past. Okay, and then, yes, this is your soulmate. Um, Bottom of the deck, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you know what the red flags are. You know, I feel like love does not have to hurt. Communication does not have to hurt. Um, but there it is, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And, you know, maybe it has a lot to do with our communication style. And that's why maybe for a lot of you Leos, you're not in any type of commitments. With the unity card here, which is usually the high so, you know, if we're wanting to open up to, you know, uh, the stars aligning to bring us into union with people, we need to be mindful of the way we communicate with our friendship groups, the way that we communicate with ourselves, the way we communicate with spirit, um, because there's a huge, huge um, transformation here when it comes to 
your relationships. And my nose just started itching. So I feel like, you know, our first relationship is with self. Our second relationship is with the people that we have around us, our family. You know, how do you communicate with your family? How do you communicate with your friends? You know, how are you communicating with people you don't even know? Okay, because I feel like this could have a lot to do with, you know, being kind of like, I almost get the cowardly lion, okay? Needing to have courage and strength. Twin flames, your passion ignites. And then the next card out says embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces. Uh, however that works out for you. Twin flames are not always necessarily a romantic partner. It could just be a friend or a coworker that you feel a very tight-knit bond with that maybe you are in separation with. But this person needs to come back into your life and you need to allow it. And maybe a truth needs to be spoken between the two of you for that to happen. Anyway, at the end of the day, Leo, you have a lot of a lot of talk, a lot of communication, a lot of truths being revealed. So however that works out for you. Anyway, Leo, I love you guys all so very much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful April. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. Love you so much.